All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Kelsey Wilcox Boyles, and I'm here from Riverview IU6 in Clarion. And we are kicking off Remake Learning Days with a, a virtual career talk with some of our regional um, companies, our businesses around our area, and wanted to share with you a little bit about Remake Learning Days. Um, <clears throat> we're wondering, we're exploring, we're learning together. There are activities happening during the school day and in the evenings and on the weekends for youth and families to enjoy all across Pennsylvania and actually all across America from May 12th through May 23rd. This is part of our Career Ready PA Backpack Challenge. So quite a few districts in our region signed up for this Career Ready PA Backpack Challenge. And by being here today during this virtual session, um, at the end of it, your teacher will give you a short survey to fill out. And that can be used as an artifact for your career portfolio for your, uh, for your school. So thanks for joining us this morning. And I have Anthony Baraschetti with us, and he's going to be talking to you in, in just a moment. I also wanted to mention I do have um, Colleen as well from North Central Workforce Solutions. Go ahead, guys. Uh, good morning. Thank you, Kelsey. Um, my name's Anthony Baraschetti. I'm really happy to be here today to present to you guys uh, a little bit about who I am, uh, what we do. Uh, I work at Phoenix Centered Metals in Brockway, Pennsylvania. Um, if you ever been to Brockway, there's one stoplight and at that stoplight right across from the sheets is uh, Phoenix Centered Metals. So we are a powdered metal producer. So we will take iron, iron, copper, stainless steel, different types of mixes and chemistries involved in those mixes and compact them under pressure, um, whether that's mechanical or hydraulic. Um, you know, it's. What I like to tell people is it's kind of a unique process. So if you're driving a car or if you're a hunter, you know, using some uh, type of a rifle um, or mowing your yard, you're gonna more than likely be finding powdered metal parts that are produced, um, not specifically from Phoenix, but could be from Phoenix Centered Metals or the powdered metal capital of the world, as they call it here in uh, Western PA, which is kind of hard to believe, you know, considering it's a small rural area, but there's quite a few bit of uh, powdered metal companies in the area. Um, I started out, you know, I, I went to uh, college, I played football, I got a four year degree in uh, management. Um, while I was doing that, I'd come home on winter breaks and I like to work with my hands. So I thought, Hey, why not give uh, Phoenix Center Metals a try? Um, it's a family owned business that my family owns. So I was fortunate enough to, you know, be able to get my foot in the door that way. Um, and I basically started from the ground and worked my way up. Uh, I'm, I was an operator. I was a molding operator, a centering operator, a tumbling operator, a machine uh, CNC operator, uh, set the machines up that produced the parts and uh, worked in the quality department, really went through the whole uh, nine yards, whole 10 yards, I guess, of uh, uh, the entire process and the different disciplines in each, uh, in, the, in the plant that, you know, make the machine run, so to speak. Uh, currently I'm the VP of manufacturing. So I oversee the entire production floor. Um, I do, the majority of the hiring uh, here at Phoenix. Um, I like to tell people, you know, uh, yes, I did go to college. Yes, I did get a master's degree. Um, at the end of the day, I could, te I could teach you to do my job. So if, if you wanna work hard, um, you're willing to learn, have a, have a uh, thirst for knowledge, um, you know, and just are kind of curious about how things work, you know, Phoenix would be, a good place for you. Um, we get quite a few kids from the local high school here that, you know, will stop in. And uh, actually, there's probably five or six of them that are working now um, across our different shifts. So we do run a 24 5 operation, do some work on the weekend, but that's usually voluntary. Um, but like I said, uh, it's a unique uh, manufacturing discipline, Centered Metal is. Um, 
I think a lot of people don't really understand it, but then when you get to experience it firsthand, it, it's, it's interesting. And, and when you're in manufacturing, um, life changes every day and specifically sometimes every hour. So, um, I really enjoy that because I don't like the mundane task of like, you know, I'm not making fun of accountants, but like, you know, Oh, okay. I go to work and two plus two is four. And <laughs> I like to try and get to four different ways. So if I can do one plus three or whatever, um, that's the way I like to approach things. So, you know, glad to be here. Um, feel free, you know, to get on our website, phoenixcenter.com. Um, and if you want to, I tell people all the time, you're more than welcome to stop down to the, to the plant here, ask for Anthony. Um, I'd be more than happy to take, uh, kids on tours or, or anybody who's curious or whatever, um, you know, stop in and I'd be more than happy to talk to you. Thank you, Anthony. I was thinking of some questions to ask and you did hit on a couple of them indirectly, but I'm going to ask them directly to you if that's okay. Sure. All right, so you mentioned about high school students. Were you referring to high school students currently working for you or they were inquiring and then you hired them after graduation? So both actually. Um, we do, I have, yes, I've hired multiple people, multiple high school kids that graduated or once they turned 18 um, came down and are working for me currently. Unfortunately, you know, with our insurance and our liability, we don't let anybody uh, run the equipment until they're 18 years of age. Um, however, what we can do is we have some kids who get on a, the work release program, I believe is what they call it at the local high schools. And they will be, whether they're 15, 16, whatever, um, they usually get out of school and they will come here and, uh, you know, do some various sorting or other types of uh, work that we have here offline from our main plant processes um, that kind of gets them exposed to powdered metal before they turn 18 and then we can let them go out onto the plant floor. So yes to both of your questions. Thank you. You also mentioned that, that you did go to school and um, you have, I, I believe you have a, a master's as, uh, on top of that, but you mentioned that there are different uh, points of entry. Can you share just a little bit, like if a student did go to a trade school, what they, you know, what would their um, certificate or their degree be in that would fit well, or, um, you know, just explain sure. that a little bit more. Yeah. So I, I, I always tell people, um, you know, CNC machining today is a big thing, um, you know, where, you know, you're controlling the spindle uh, of the machine with computer, uh, a computer screen, you know, um, most kids today grow up with an iPhone and they're very comfortable using that. I would tell them a CNC is the same thing, just more advanced in the sense that you're not texting LOL or OMG, you're using M code and G code. So um, I think, you know, a CNC type certificate would work well. Also, I tell people like, you know, people who are mechanics, um, if you like tearing things apart and putting things back together uh, and making them right, uh, die setting would be a, a, a field here, a position here that you may find interesting. So you would actually take the setup tools that we have and set them in the machine. And basically you're making the part from scratch um, and then turning that over to production. Uh, there's quality positions, um, I don't know if there's really anything in a trade school that would lead to a certificate for that, but, you know, die setting and, and CNC, um, you know, the programming side of things, um, robotics are becoming, uh, you know, automation nowadays is where everybody's really going. Um, a lot of that has to do with the uh, workforce or lack thereof. Um, so you have to find different ways to handle the product. So you know, right now on our plant floor, we have five, six, seven robots. Um, when I say robot, I talk, I'm talking pick and place. So grab and pick apart and then put it in another spot. And then we're actually getting another one for the front of our oven that will actually take parts off of our large press that runs right into the oven and place them on the oven belt. So 
uh, I would say robotics, that's a automation, that type of stuff. There's, there's a definite need there for that. And you also did touch on a couple of skills. You mentioned um, you know, wondering and being curious, um, someone that's hardworking that just really wants to excel. Um, they have some dedication and commitment there. I would like to ask though, if, if you can think of um, any others that you haven't mentioned, or if you want to elaborate on a couple that you already mentioned, what are some skills, what are some skills that students can work on now uh, during their middle school, high school, that would then help them in a career uh, in one in your plant or something similar? Sure. So I think anything in life, punctuality um, is, is key. So showing up on time um, goes a long way. And being there every day, now I understand things happen and life happens and I get all that, but um, showing up on time every day, doing what's asked of you, but also asking questions about what you're doing. So yes, you are being told what to do, but I challenge you to come up with ways to make it better. You're doing it every day. And that's why I say curiosity. You know, you're you're coming here every day and you're you're doing these these tasks over and over. And you see all the different parts running through the facility. Um, you know, what what can we do differently to make your job easier? You know, because at the end of the day, I I don't want you to come to work and oh, I'm just here because I need the money. No, I want you to come here because you think that you're making a difference. So I tell people all the time. You know, just say you come to work and you have 100 problems. Wouldn't it be nice if you came back tomorrow and you only had 99 because you came up with a, a way to solve a problem that we're all having? And if you have that mindset and that mentality, um, you know, you can you can pretty much do do anything specifically at Phoenix. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I if you show up, I will train you to do whatever you want to do as long as you can handle you know, that task. Uh, I have no problem giving people opportunities to, to succeed because at the end of the day, that's what, that's what we're here to do. Um, you know, I, I want, I want you to go tell your buddies, Hey, this is a cool place to work or your parents. And then, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have a family, you tell your kids and, you know, it just keeps, it keeps, uh, you know, feeding itself. I love that. I'm glad we're recording because that last little bit there for sure is something that I wanted um, others to hear. You know, family owned and really uh, you're part of the community. You are the community. We just really appreciate your time and sharing with with our students that this is you know this is great uh, manufacturing company right in our backyard and that um, I. I thank you for talking about the problem solving piece. You know, we always talk about uh, students being career ready and we have a hashtag career ready PA. And what does that actually mean? And what does it actually look like? And you know, sometimes, sometimes educators think, oh, I have to just talk about, you know, what do you want to do with your life? Um, but they're, they're forgetting and, and they're maybe even missing the the skill development along the way, and to really make sure that we're giving, providing projects in the classroom and opportunities in the classroom for students to, to problem solve, um, for students to show those, those punctuality pieces and develop those skills that are great for any career. And again, Anthony, thank you for sharing um, specifically for your company too. All right. Thank you very much. Glad I could be here.